good morning and thank you for joining us. Our morning outlook will focus on the Euro dollar, recent developments, and the potential impact on the markets. Let's hear from Greg in our trading room. The Euro dollar pair saw a minor dip of 0.1% in the last session. The ROC is giving a negative signal. The last session saw the oil drop 0.5% against the dollar. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal. The gold dollar pair plummeted 1.1% in the last session. The stochastic RSI is giving a negative signal. The last session saw the dollar gain 0.9% against the yen. The ultimate oscillator indicates an overbought market. Coming up, today's major financial news. U.S. existing home sales dropped to a 14-year low in September, weighed down by higher mortgage rates and house prices. The second straight monthly decline in home resales reinforced economists' views that the slump in residential investment, which includes home building, deepened in the third quarter. Japan's regulators are reluctant to approve cryptocurrency-based ETFs, even as global markets embrace spot crypto ETFs. Despite growing calls from domestic advocacy groups and partnerships forming to launch digital asset products, Japan's tax and regulatory stance continues to present hurdles to adoption. The Canadian dollar weakened to an 11-week low against its US counterpart as the Bank of Canada cut interest rates by an unusually large amount and the greenback added to its recent broad-based gains. And now let's review today's major economic events. Japan's Jibun Bank Manufacturing PMI will be released at 0.30 GMT. The UK's GFK Consumer Confidence at 23.01 GMT. The US Initial Jobless Claims at 12.30 GMT. Germany's German Buber Monthly Report will be released at 10 GMT. The US Chicago Fed National Activity Index at 12.30 GMT. Finland's Producer Price Index at 5 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's Market Outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day.